In this video, you will discover how to create a floating contact form, chats, and social icons in WordPress. Let's get started. So the first thing to do is to install a plugin. So go to plugins and add new. And this plugin we are going to use is called My Sticky Elements. So search for My Sticky Elements and you have it here. So I've already installed and activated this plugin. So simply do so by installing and activating it. After activating the plugin, click on My Sticky Elements and then scroll down, click on Create Your First Widget. So whatever you do here, you are going to see the progress of it on the right side. As you can see this form located here. So we have three steps to complete this. We are adding a contact form. Then we would add chats and social media icons. And then we would do a few settings. This is how the contact form will look like. Here is the name, the phone number, email address, and then the message. So we can indicate which of these should be required. So name, for example, if we want the person dropping the message to compulsorily enter their name, we can indicate that here by making it a required field as well as the message. We could also make that a required field. We could do a few designs here. You can change the background color, the text color and all that if you want to do so. So this option is enabled by default. That is to save the leads to this website. And it works in such a way that when your prospects drop their messages, they are going to be saved. When you come to this place, contact form leads. And every single detail that they left can be identified at this place. So let's now proceed to the second aspect, the social icons. So we will be able to add more icons by checking the boxes. So if we want to add Facebook Messenger or whatever it says that we want to add, we can add that. So those that we've added, we can configure them so that when visitors click on them, they will be able to send messages to us through WhatsApp and Facebook Messenger respectively. So here you are required to enter your WhatsApp number, including the country code and then the Facebook Messenger username. Then you can proceed to the last aspect of it. This aspect requires that we do a few settings. The positioning, whether it should be located on the left or on the right in terms of the desktop. So on a desktop, currently it is by default located at the left hand side. So if you want this to be at the right hand side, you could do so. Or even at the bottom, you could equally do that. And we can see the live preview of what we are doing here. On mobile too, we can equally do the same thing. And then we have a few other configurations to do. And once we finish with everything, then you'll be able to hit publish here. And let's now go to our website to test how this form will work. On the website, we see the form located here beautifully. And if you hover over it, you see the whole contact form displaying as well as the WhatsApp chat button and the Facebook Messenger chat button. So let's test this. Let's test the contact form. Let's enter a name here, a phone number, an email address, and then a message. So let's just enter any message and let's click on submit to see how it works. Now we have the notification here, a success message that the message has been successfully sent. Let's now check the dashboard to see how this message will be received and whether it will be received in the first place my sticky elements you go to contact form leads so we see the information here the name the phone number the email address the message that the visitor sent to us all of them are located here and this is so effective and we even see a feature here that we can download and export the list of messages and the details of those who left the message to a CSV file and this is just fine. So if we have lots of messages, then we'll be able to export everything and have them at one place in a CSV file. So this is basically how you can create a floating or sticky contact form in WordPress. If you enjoyed this video, do well to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.